are these people? This is called a prayer for the promised land. Well, it looks like you'll get what you wanted, as criminals so often do. In the same way a rapist might fix on a goal and by any means see that goal through. Like you'll only be happy to settle once you've bled every creature that breathes for a promised land caked in the life that was Gaza, craters, and uprooted trees. Where even as I sit and type this, they are bulldozing all of the streets and they'll pave over every war crime committed and mass grave forgotten beneath. And they'll leech even more of our taxes for the Black Rock approved Middle East for new luxury three-bedroom condos next to torn, bloody tents on the beach. So I pray, the first day of the project, once construction can finally begin, the officials break ground, the shovel digs down, and up comes what used to be skin. And as workers look over their blueprints, the foremen rechecking the plans, the ghosts of the fathers of Gaza surround them with children who hang from their hands. I pray when you walk in those newly built homes, as you smile and take a deep breath, that the rot in the air chokes you down to your knees, overwhelmed by the odor of death. Then the first time you step in the shower, to wash off the filth of that day, I pray that the shower head soaks you in blood and nothing can wash it away. And you stumble away from the shower as the blood starts to seep through the walls, and you hear it cascade from the ceiling as in terror you tear through the hall. And above all your shrieks and your screaming, all of Palestine's children will call. Those who begged in the dark for the touch of their mother, a touch some had not known at all. Now, could this be your holy land, soldier? Is this where you plan to call home? You really expect to come live out your life that you ever could truly atone? There are none of you worthy of mercy who have scattered these souls to the sands. And if an IDF soldier would like my respect, he can air out his skull like a man. Or better yet, take up his arms against those who would have him bring death to these lands. And yet among you are so few objectors. Just how long till the conscience is banned? So no, I do not speak for Gaza. But I pray Gaza speaks by your bed. I don't know what went through the minds of its martyrs, but I still see inside of their heads. So I pray that they join in a choir. Pray they wail in your walls while you sleep. Pray the mothers in mourning pierce right through your core. I pray you may never know peace. You can cleanse and cleanse to your morbid content, but it will not leave things pure. So I pray if you get what you wanted, it is all that you truly deserve. That's a prayer for the promised land. <laughs>